Hmm, do I want to possess your soul or do I not? It seems like you guys come with friends. Wherever one of these bison go, the others herd through. And it does look like a pretty unforgiving desert everywhere. So you know what? Let's try being a big old bison again. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, look at the way the ground shakes as he runs. This is amazing. I wonder if we can knock down like some of these walls and perhaps find something behind them. But hello everyone and welcome back to Lost Ember, where we are now exploring deeper into the desert of the ancients, searching out answers and running, at least in the past, from our father, who was seeking vengeance for the emperor and our head. I don't know exactly how this story is going to go, but we are finding out whatever we did that got us like tossed out of the city of light personally i just want to stay on like the earth now look how beautiful this is i don't mind being a soul wandering wild wolf all right do i need to go this way no i don't think my bison buddy can go this way my other bison buddy is right there sleeping can i go this way maybe i can wiggle my way down nope all right we have to abandon the bison buddies and I think that there's probably going to be a fish. Ah, okay, fine. I'll go the proper way. There's probably going to be a fish who we're going to need to possess in order to get through here. Oh, it's one of the little skipper fish. I love these guys. Come here, friends. There we go. <laughs> Look at their amazing little pond they get to live in. This is fantastic. I love it when we're able to be one of the skipper fish. Yeah, I mean, I want answers to the past and I want the little emperor guy to feel responsible for what he's done. And up, oh, oh, here we go. <gasps> here we go! All right. This is more like it. <laughs> oh, I love it when we can do this. Look at this. Oh, so fun. Go, little friend. Faster. I feel like one of those Quicksilver slimes. <laughs> and kudos to any of you guys who get that reference. All right, who even knows where we're headed? All right, hang in there, little buddy. He's going quicker and quicker. <gasps> Look at this. Where are we going now? <gasps> wow. Okay, this would have been <gasps> turtles. Fantastic. Look at this. I had no idea we'd be able to come to such a beautiful oasis. So now we're in an oasis. Oh my gosh, can I feed this turtle that giant gourd? Please tell me I can feed the turtle the giant gourd. All right, come on, friend. Okay, these guys are not going to move very quickly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at them look at life in this oasis this is amazing and giant like desert tortoises i want to feed them this this pumpkin we've, we've got to be patient there are so many secrets here there are so many ways that the humans left their legacy oh look at him push that up Oh, there you go, friend. You can go ahead and munch on this now. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Alright, fed the tortoise. That made me very happy. But yeah, life went on. Life definitely went on. It looks like there's tons of tortoises here. There's all sorts of gourds. I can't even imagine how much more peaceful this must have all felt. And it actually makes me think... Maybe it would have been better to try running into the desert than destroying the Emperor. But then, I guess nothing would have changed for everybody else left behind. Ah, I don't really know if there was... I, honestly, I don't think there was a right answer in any of it. Not when things were that wrong. Alright, let's go ahead and jump down. Look at all the birds. I wonder what we're going to find here. Okay. Aww. 
Even though it's so beautiful Are these here. Graves. Oh. This is horrible. Oh. There must be hundreds of bodies. This is a mass grave? Maybe thousands. Oh. Are these Machiruku. What happened here? It's so beautiful now. But what did it look like when all this happened? So I had them build the fire on purpose to attract my father. I knew what I was doing. You really did want them to see this, didn't you? Were you leading them somewhere? Mass graves? That changes the context of how beautiful this was. I think I hear something cracking. Another barrier over here! So there was a barrier to my memories. And these are all mass graves? Of the people who came before me? I wonder if I can inhabit the soul of one of those parrots and see if I can get a better view of exactly what went on here. Here we go. Maybe some of the parrots will fly by. Whoa, there's even more of them over there. What happened here? I can hear the barrier. Yeah, there's parrots everywhere, but... Yeah, I didn't expect this oasis to turn out to be quite so foreboding. And yeah, it doesn't look like I can get to any of the parrots, unfortunately. Let's see if the fish have something to show us. Each of the creatures that live in the different places might have some sort of insight into the secrets that have appeared in their own small worlds. Let's see. I saw some fish over here. All right. Will you guys? Thank you. All right, look, we found this thing at least. That's good. So we found another one of these water mushrooms. I found a little over half of them now, which makes me happy. But was there anything else in here? There you go, little one. What a beautiful oasis, but the thing is, it's full of graves. Everywhere. All right, anything over here? This really does feel like being an archaeologist so often. Just sifting through a few little tiny pieces left of the past. Trying to make sense of what you're discovering. Aha! Trying to hide from me, are you, little one? I found. Hang on, this mushroom. Guess we should try and get behind that barrier. Yes, after the mushroom. The mushrooms celebrate the fact that life has gone on. And that's very important to me. Not to mention, I mean, look, yeah, we're surrounded by dozens of mass graves of a whole bunch of dead humans, but it's also very pretty here. Does that count for something? If I was going to be a hidden artifact, I would be somewhere around here, but... Look, another one of the tortoises! I love them! Oh, what was that? Oh, odd, look. Up here, some of the rocks are set up. And my fish friends are schooling with me. But some of the rocks look like they're set up to actually... Oh, I could probably reach those parrots when they come back around. To form grave spots. Okay. And then if I wait, I think the parrots are going to come back around. And I can try to merge with their souls. And perhaps learn something new. Maybe. Maybe. Are they circling? Oh, here they come. There we go. So what about up here, huh? So this is the waterfall. 
that feeds the oasis. I think it was another way that I could have, actually. Yeah, I see it now. That's where our father was on to us. And we just took a longer way of being able to come down into this beautiful oasis. Anything up top here? Let's see. Lots of little grave spots. What about over here? Wow. Oh, hummingbirds. Yeah, there were a lot of little locations I think we could have come out. Do I see any of those mushrooms here? It's hard to tell as a bird. I don't think so, though. And I'm curious. Oh, my curiosity just keeps driving me forward, too. All right, well, let's do this. Having wings definitely helps to be able to explore what we're crossing. Well, let's break our way in. <gasps> Elephants! Oh my gosh! Elephants and bamboo? Wow. The little wombats down here. Or the capybaras. And then what's up here? I guess, do we need the elephants? Oh, wow. What's this? So there's elephants back here, too. There's some of the big giant tortoises. I think this is just like a little hidden area. Look at him. This is amazing. I can't believe this. This oasis holds so much more than I expected. All right, I don't see anything here. Anything up in the trees? That would be fantastic if you had to search the trees too. There's some geese and ducks down here. But where did the elephants all go? It's like they didn't want anything to do. What about back here? It's like they could sense me and they didn't want anything to do with us. An artifact. That's what I've been looking for. A hollowed horn? What's that? Oh, we passed up so many artifacts and I don't even know where we would have found them. Hollowed horn. A horn, all hollow, possibly used to drink for drinking water while traveling. Hmm. All right, well, I think I need to become one with the elephants at some point. But for now, being a bird is granting me the ability to fly over a whole bunch of the spots that could cause trouble. So let's go this way. More parrots. No elephants. No traces of memory. Lots and lots of this bamboo. So where to next? I guess the elephants would be needed in order to like shove through these thickets of bamboo. Oh look, they're all gathered together here. And where's the herd gonna lead us now? Look at that. They're just pushing through the bamboo. And taking us further, anything up here? No, I don't think so. Aha! Alright. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I love discovering this new land, and it just feels so rewarding. Let's go become an elephant for a moment. I doubt they've ever even seen anything like a wolf before. Oh, let's hurry before it goes through. Yeah, we can't push through the bamboo, but as an elephant, <laughs> we can. Look at that. 
And then we can be with the rest of our herd. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we'll go ahead and trot our way back through. How are they surviving in this canyon? They must have some way of getting out. There's definitely not enough food. Plenty of water, but not enough food to be able to support an elephant population. But that was amazing. That was really amazing. All right, so it looks like next we're going to need to inhabit the soul of a fish and work our way through yet another little cavern. How we managed to do this while we were still alive and human, I have no idea. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the Galapagos tortoises and the elephants that we stumbled on. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.